Buffalo Bills. And we are underway in Buffalo. And he nearly broke that for more, but as it is, still a good return. They'll start to drive right around the 37. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They'll run here with Raheem Mostert. And he's across the 43, extra yards to the 43. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Again, they'll run it with Mostert. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down. Otherwise, it's going to be a long afternoon. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. On second down, Mostert. Now they nearly sprung him that time as he takes this all the way down to the 37. Give him 12 yards there, and the Dolphins have a first down. Up the middle they go with Mostert. A good gain of nine before he's brought down at the 28. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. They'll run. Here's Devon Achan. Seven yards there and a first down. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. Up the middle, Achan. This will be a five-yard pickup as they move it from the 20 to the 15. Now second and five. A run straight ahead with Achan. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. That leads us to a first and goal. It's a pickup of eight. Here's Mostert. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. Raheem Mostert, an eight-yard touchdown run. And the Dolphins have taken the early lead on the road here in Buffalo. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and it's now a 7-0 game. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And they will not get a chance to return this one. It's through the back of the end zone for a touchback. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Throwing to start the drive. Allen, little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. The catch and run there, good for 16 and a first. Here's Allen to throw it. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Cook. From the 46, here's second down and five. Throwing now is Allen. Little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. And Knox is going to have a Bills first down as he'll be taken down at the 46. After one, 7 nothing on EA Sports. 
second quarter now in Buffalo. It's the Bills in control of the football as they've got it with a first and 10. Allen to throw once more. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far at second down. Allen now looks to throw. Got a man, that's Trent Sherfield. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. A great job defensively taking away his receivers, and he was forced to put that one into Lake Erie, but that's what good quarterbacks do. They don't take unnecessary chances. And that is caught. Touchdown, Buffalo. James Cook, an 11-yard touchdown. And the Bills are an extra point away from drawing level. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And we are tied at seven. Each team's had it, each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. And he's going to wind up bringing this one inside the 45-yard line. But that return gives him a golden opportunity to go out in front. How will the defense respond after giving up that type of a return? Now a play fake. Here's Tonga Vailoa. He's going to take a shot right away for the end zone. He's got it. Touchdown, Dolphins. Tyreek Hill. 44 yards, and the Dolphins have taken the lead. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and that makes the score 14 to 7. After the field goal, here comes Sanders to kick it away. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. Good drive last time. Really effective passing the football. Do you maybe mix it up, now go to the ground game and surprise the defense a little bit? I would anticipate the defense making some changes, but I wouldn't necessarily just absolutely go in the opposite direction. They're doing so well throwing the ball. Yeah, well, I'm glad I wouldn't change it up until they showed me a reason to do so. Allen's throw here, take it in by Knox. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 48-yard line. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. And that is knocked away in the middle of the field and incomplete. And that's a nice job there because you've got to play the ball, not the man winning coverage. That'll keep you away from a lot of needless penalties. And he's able to knock that one away. Again, they'll throw with Allen. And that will be incomplete. Well, how about the coverage we just saw him break out on third down? Dime defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed, unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. So they're going for it, and here's Allen. That is caught. He'll get it inside the 20. And all the way home for a Bills touchdown. Stephon Diggs, 48 yards. And the Bills' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And we are tied at 14. 
This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And that 14-0 lead to begin the ball game, well, that's gone now. Time to regroup. I think even up two touchdowns, they knew this wasn't going to be a walk in the park. And I think that's why we would see the head coach going up and down the sidelines telling his team, let's stay with it. Let's keep going. It's almost like he knew they were going to make their run at them. And they have. As you said, let's see if they can regroup and get going again. On second down, Tua. Out route to Hill, complete. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Once again, it's Mostert. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission. All in sync, and the defense is lucky. That play only picked up five yards. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. 74 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. On first and 10, it's Mostert. It was the linebacker Leonard Floyd on the stop. Now a second and six. Here's Tua. And that one will fall incomplete. Clock here now, just under 30 seconds to go in this first half. So it's third and six, and this will be the eighth play of the drive. They fake the handoff. Now Tua rolling to his left. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. This defense has certainly played well so far in this game, and the coverage has been tight on just about every throw. Forced a few here so far in this game, and now it brings up fourth down. And no sign of Tua departing. Fourth down. They're going for it. Tug of Iloa going for it on fourth down. It's complete. Swings it out to his running back. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. A run with Mostert up the middle. And they'll get this halfway home from the 8 to the 4 on a gain of 4. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. And that is caught. Touchdown, Miami. Tyreek Hill on the touchdown pass from Tua. And the Dolphins have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And the lead is now 21-14. So six seconds, all that remains of this first half as the kick is away. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. A final shot before half for Allen. Flushed out right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. Oh, what was he thinking there? It's easily intercepted. Picked off by Deshaun Elliott, and he will be brought down on what will be the final play of this first half. So we've reached halftime here, and it's the visiting Dolphins taking a lead to the locker room.
As we'll send you down to Orlando, and we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. The Bills trail here, but they will get the football first as we are back underway on EA Sports. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. This offense, Charles, had a strong first half throwing the football, at least in terms of yardage, but that hasn't translated so far on the scoreboard as they begin the third quarter here trailing and looking for a little momentum. Yeah, you're right about that because, you know, let's face it, in the first half, most of their focus was in the passing game, and to their credit, resulted in a healthy amount of yardage. So I would think that at halftime, they're going to anticipate that defense loosening up a little bit to try and cover the passing lanes. They've got to get the running game going, and there should be some gaps to run through now. Here's Allen on first and ten. Looking for his man on the out route, and he's got Diggs. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. So now first and ten as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 38. Allen's throw is complete. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. That's back-to-back -back plays of over 20 yards. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. To throw, it's Allen. Setting up the screen for Cook. Seven yards there on the first down screen play. Second and three from the nine. From the gun, it's a give to Cook. A five-yard gain, and now they're set up first and goal. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here, this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. And they'll let the fullback try and take him home. And he fights his way into the end zone for a Bills touchdown. Reggie Gilliam taking it in from four yards out. And the Bills are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And we are tied at 21. Nothing separating these two teams on the scoreboard as the kick's away here. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. We got a brand new ball game all even after that last touchdown. So every drive now becoming a little more critical here in the second half. Off of play action. Tongue of Iloa. This one complete to Jalen Waddle. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. From up near the 40 now after the big play to start. Here's another first and 10. On the handoff, this is Mostert. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. From the 41, here's a second and eight. Now Tua. Throw right side, going to be caught here by Waddle. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. They'll stay on the ground with Mostert. And he'll be close to a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 31. They'll try and run here with Mostert. And he's able to pick up the first before he's taken down at the 27. But just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. Now they'll throw with Tungabailoa. Forced out to his left. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. 
Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. To his throw, caught by his receiver, Hill. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. Three quarters have come and gone. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Back to the running game with Mostert. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the 5 at the 6. Now second and 5. Snap will come from the 6. They hand it off to Mostert. And he's dropped just before the line to game. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Now Mostert. And he takes it into the end zone for the Dolphin touchdown. Raheem Mostert with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Dolphins answer back with a touchdown of their own to break our tie and take the lead here in the fourth. Sanders on for the extra point. And it's good. That makes it a 28-21 game. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. We have seen a lot of points here in this quarter. For us up here in the booth, it's been fun to watch. The defensive coordinators probably scratching their heads. Yeah, they're going a little bit crazy right now. But let's face it, all of our friends who play fantasy, <laughs> they're enjoying the heck out of this show because most of them are creating and getting a bunch of points. Yeah, points certainly not at a premium here. It's caught inside the 25. Touchdown, Bills! Gabriel Davis, 54 yards. And the Bills are an extra point away from tying this game here on the fourth. The receivers have been running them ragged. Maybe some tired legs in the secondary. Maybe some tired legs in the pass rush. Didn't get to him. And look what resulted. A touchdown. Tie game. They've got a chance to take the lead. All right, now a big two-point conversion attempt still to come. Allen will try to throw for it. It's complete. And he will get into the end zone. So how about that for putting it on the line? They've taken the lead by a point here in the fourth quarter. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. But the bad news for them, they've seen that cushion they once had totally evaporate, and they're working from behind. The good news, they now have the opportunity to regain the lead right back. On first down, Tonga Bailoa escaping the pressure right. He's going to get this one out to his fullback. All that for a two-yard gain, second down. He was out there waving his arms, and when you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is, because you got to get his attention, because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. It's a four-yard pickup there, and it leaves him with third and five. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. 
Looking to pass to him. And they'll get this on the screen to Mostert. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Give him 12 yards there, and the Dolphins have a first down. And when you have success throwing the football, the old cliche becomes true. The playbook opens up wide, and these screen passes, they become even more difficult to stop. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Here's Mostert. Knifes his way forward here, but just three yards on the play, second down. Two are going to throw. That's Waddle. He's got the catch on the out route. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Now, That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. All three timeouts plus the two-minute warning. Here's first and 10. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. They come up on a first and 10, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. Tua Mostert. Good footwork at the 30. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Boy, missed tackles. That could be their downfall, Charles. Yeah, they actually let him out of bounds there. Instead of the clock continuing to run, they let him out, and it turned into another timeout for him. Not good at all. And for one of the few times here today, this one's not going to go anywhere. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL, and he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time. So make sure you get in shape. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Here's Tua. On the move to his left. And that is incomplete. With that incompletion, reality is staring them right in the face. This entire game is down to the next snap. This one, an absolute must. It's fourth and four. Throwing to a... He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have a Dolphins first down. It's a gain of seven on fourth and four. And now the Bills are going to stop it as they call a timeout. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Now Tua. Now Achan on first and 10. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Right back to A-Chan on second down. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. The Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout. It'll be their third and final timeout, so as they talk things over, we'll step aside. Now first and goal. They'll run A-Chan. And he will maneuver his way down to about the 7.
Now the timeout will be called, so they're in field goal range with three seconds left. So it all rests now on the right foot of Jason Sanders. With three seconds to go, this for the win. And it is good! He splits the uprights on the chip shot. And it'll be a good time in South Beach tonight. The Dolphins have won the game. Well, this ball game was close throughout. Remember, it was neck and neck at intermission, neck and neck at the end. But a great job to come in here in a tough environment, Charles, and get the victory. Yeah, it's up environment indeed. How about all the people we can hear shouting from their seats right below us, partner? They weren't real happy that their team didn't keep the home field. How about how these visitors came in, calm every step of the way, even with all the pressure, and found a way to get out of here with a win? So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say so long from Buffalo.